So I've just made a bunch of half-inch dowels, and they are for the Leonardo da Vinci bridge, which is popularly attributed to Leonardo da Vinci, a self-supporting bridge design, which is quite a brilliant piece of engineering, and this is kind of like a little puzzle, because it's quite interesting. Well, it turned out that making these little notches are um, an engineering complication in and of themselves. So, look. This is the groove that I'm making, and you'll understand after I show you the bridge, how, assuming that you've never seen the bridge before, but they have to be parallel, perfectly parallel so that they lock nicely. So this is holding them steady here, but this rigging I thought was interesting enough that I should capture it on footage, also so that I could remember should I ever have this problem again. But this is kind of interesting. It's square. And this is the straight edge that's acting as a fence for the router. It's clamped solid here. And this arm enables you to make micro fine adjustments because if you move a little bit here, it acts like a lever effect to produce a very, very, very small incremental m movement here, which can be used for really high precision. Sorry I'm talking so slow. I'm, it's very hot. I'm tired. Well, let me show you how it works. And that's not bad at all. Good thing, because I need another puzzle. <laughs> wait, wait, pocket. What about the center one? Relax, relax. I wouldn't leave you hanging. I'll explain. Look. In each of the notches that I just made, the dial fits, and it keeps it perfectly s seated flat and square. And now I've just found the center, and I can ride against the fence and make my center notch, which, in case you didn't realize this yet, is on the opposite side of the end notches. I will spare you the assembly process, which I'm sure that you can find on your own somewhere. But once assembled, you can see that it's entirely self-supporting. No attachments of any kind, and it's quite sturdy. So long as there is a constant load on it, and if there isn't, This neat little bridge bears the name of Da Vinci because, well, because it's found in his sketches. Leonardo Da Vinci wasn't just a Ninja Turtle and painter of the Mona Lisa. He was also the quintessential Renaissance man. He was an artist, engineer, and brilliant mind. That said, I don't think that he necessarily invented this concept. That would diminish the expertise of many other civilizations throughout history. No doubt there were many other great thinkers that had already discovered this concept of load-bearing. In case you want to make one of these, the most common variety uses about 10 of these long beams and 5 of the short horizontal ones. 
In my case, the long ones were about 8 inches, and the short ones were just under 5, which is a nice approximation of the golden rectangle, by the way. And you can also extend the length of your bridge indefinitely by adding sections of two of the long girders paired with one of the short. I certainly hope that this was of some interest to you, and if it was, you should definitely let me know it in the comments, and I appreciate that you continue to watch. So I will see you again soon.